Today on Make a Ticket Outdoors, I'll be making a lure that no one ever has done before, including me. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Um, in this video, I'm making a bold claim that uh, lure I'm gonna make today for a lucky viewer with my giveaway for a thousand subscribers has never been made by anyone before. That's right. Nobody, nobody, nobody has made this lure before me. Now you're thinking, David, how can you make such a claim? How can you be so arrogant? I'll tell you why. You see, this lure is based on the Radner rig. The Radner rig is the lure I invented, had a provisional patent on. Came up with a variation on the way home from work the other day. And had it not been for my stupid refrigerator starting to die, I would have done this last night. But yeah, this is gonna be a special lure for somebody. So special that they're gonna get it untested and hopefully give me some feedback on it, please. So without further ado, unless I come up with another ado, let's go to the build. All right, let's get started. Tools, wire clippers, uh, split ring pliers, needle nose pliers, and my beat up old round nose pliers because these are the best I have. Not because of the conditioner, and I mean they're old, but they're just the best ones I got. They're awesome. Uh, components for the lure, we're gonna need a couple of swivels for these two Colorado blades, size three. Three eighths ounce uh, bass casting weight that's been painted in watermelon red flake. A roto blade. A rivet to act as a bearing for the roto blade. The two split rings to attach these to those. A hook. I think this is a four aught. Um, a skirt. And two straight shafts of wire, which I believe are 030. All right, let's get on with the build. Alrighty, so we're gonna get started out like I do with the. Uh, spinner baits and such but I'm just gonna make a 90 degree bend and switch my needle nose pliers that'll be easier slide that right up there and then grab the eye of the hook like so make sure to switch around it's easier for me to do it this way Just gonna do a few wraps around the hook. All right, I'll be bleeding after that one. So we just need to trim off that tag end. And this build's actually a pretty straightforward build. It just, like I said, came for me going, what if? Now, what's funny about the riding rig, ay, 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 is originally it was an inline spinner with a treble hook here, skirt, and then a body with a Colorado blade on a clevis. Now that Colorado blade would have trouble getting spinning, so that's why I went with that roto blade. Um, next we'll put the, uh, I had to change shafts, 
with my one with a hook on the end. So, all right. So next, we're just going to slide the skirt on. I'm going to I want this long end of the skirt going towards the front. So we'll just poke it right here and slide it down. nicely one thing I like about putting the skirt up in front of the hook like this is if you get a short strike that hook is right there at the end um, next we slide the body of the bait down that 3 8 ounce weight rivet to act like a bearing for that roto blade again I get the roto blades at either Barlow's or Jan's Netcraft let's take a look at that real quick here's the roto blade it's got a hole right here a hole right here and that's where the shaft goes and it's uh, got a twist to it and a little bit of an up curve so there's no way this thing's if it's not tangled up in a bunch of weeds or anything there is no way this blade is not going to spin. Um, in fact, I think Jan's Netcraft calls it the ever spin roto blade because it's always going to spin. All right, so basic start to a Radner rig. So, what does it mean for me now that I've hit a thousand subscribers? Hmm. Well, for one thing, I can stand in my backyard and act like I'm being interviewed by someone. Now I'm going to make a closed loop right up here, and this will be the line tie and also where the... Um, make sure I got this straight here. The uh, twin arms is go going to go through. One thing I forgot to mention, you want, instead of in the same plane as the hook, you want this perpendicular. And this is what we have so far. Again, you can see right down, comes down and perpendicular to this plane. And yeah, maybe a little bit off. Let's just twist that around. That's better. All right, we'll move forward with the build. All right, next. We're going to just find roughly the middle. I don't need to be perfect because the, uh, the arms are not going to be very long. And we just make a squared off in like that. And there we go. And like you see, I didn't get it perfect. That's okay. Now we just have to do a couple more bends. This one here. Like so. And now we have to do one more. And one thing you gotta watch when you're using needle nose pliers, if you just go like this, you're gonna be 
kind of wonky. So you want to make sure you have it angled so it's going to be perpendicular. And that should work. So, this, these, I should say, will be the arms for the two Colorado blades. And then he's a little finagling because, you know, things get twisted. So this has to go onto a shaft like so. So this is the tricky part. I don't have a whole lot of room to work with right here. And I need to get these two wires up below this loop, up and out to act as the uh, two arms. But I don't have a whole lot of room, so there's going to be some finagling. There we go. Okay, not pretty yet. Give me time. What I'm going to do next is come up here on either side and make a loop on each of these arms with those Colorado blades. So first, let's get this all straightened out. Vader and I want to remind you, it's good to subscribe to my channel, isn't it, buddy? Wait, you want to see yourself? Ooh. And I am thinking... About that length is going to be good. Now you're trying to figure out, well, where did he come up with that certain length? I made it up. That's right. That's half of the battle when you're making lures. Just make crap up if you don't know what you're doing. Then people will subscribe to your channel and go, wow, this guy's smart. <laughs> right here will be the line tie. You can see how everything hooks together right there. Um, yeah, let's go about right here, and I'm going to just bend this around, I'm making a, uh, not really a closed loop, because it'll be more like the, uh, where the blades on a spinner rig go, kind of a, it's a closed loop, but it's not a wrapped closed loop, how's that? so now I just have to do the same with this one sorry wires are shorter than I usually work with. Yeah. Hey, look at that. They match up. All right, so now we just got to tame these up a tad and we'll clip off these tag ends. All 
right, so let's look at our lure. We've got your rag and rig base. And then up here, I'll have the two Colorado blades. Let's spread those out a little bit though. There we go. This is gonna be nifty. All right, see you. I've got my Colorado blades split ring to the swivel. And I'm just gonna hook that on there. I gotta close that loop up by twisting us. There we go. As you can see, it's now tucked under there nicely. Just gotta straighten it back out a little bit. There we go. And that should stay on there. Well, there you have it. A Radner rig with extra spinners. Dun, 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 dun. That's the triumphant music, if you weren't aware. Yeah. That thing right there. <laughs> I hate to give this one up. I'll probably have to make another one for myself because I'm going to try this out. All right, so there you have it. Now that lure, haven't tried it yet. It's gonna to go to one of you, whoever wins the uh, giveaway for the 1,000 subscribers and uh, you get to try it out. And like I said, untested, unproven, good luck. Um, but I have pretty high confidence in that. In fact, probably go ahead and make one for myself and uh, maybe even go fishing tonight after the new refrigerator arrives. All right, guys, thank you again. I can't say thank you enough, and I know I say it a ton, but you really can't say thank you enough for over a thousand people subscribing to your channel going, okay, what's this nut gonna go do next? Um, and that's about all I got right now. So you have a great day. Uh, I'll be doing the drawing here in a few hours, and I will post the results on the video with the cat in the thumbnail, and we'll see who wins some lures. Thanks again. You have a great day. Tight lines.